Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, Inside Infinite Breaking News Edition. You join me today on a sunny day in Hong Kong and I'm kind of having an internal crisis right now because 343 Industries just released their new blog post detailing the insides of Infinite, Inside Infinite, and they were talking about the PC Master Race and how Halo Infinite is built from the ground up for the PC. And it's kind of making me question my life decisions because Halo Infinite looks gorgeous on PC and I kind of might want to switch now. I don't know. Let me break it down. I'm going to go through the blog post. This is incredible. They're talking with the lead developers for Halo Infinite on PC and they paint a pretty beautiful picture. I don't even know if I need to go into the specs. Just look at the screenshots. So Halo Infinite has been built to adapt to many different kinds of PCs and many different kinds of screens. We've got a standard screen, then ultra wide and super wide. And super wide makes me just... Ah, it's so good. It looks so good. All right, so let me read a couple of little tidbits out for you guys so I can paint you a picture. These are the developers talking now. I want to make a Halo game that feels like it was always made on PC, as it was always meant to ship on PC, and now it's seeing the light of day. This is, of course, a very selfish goal. I'm a customer of my own work. This will be a Halo built for PC players by PC players. That's pretty badass. I'm passionate about giving players what they want, taking a great game and making it run the way PC gamers want to play. Honoring the hard work they put into their rigs, the setting customization they expect to see, and welcoming all new players who might not have played Halo before. It is also our goal for PC to work harmoniously with console players so they can easily play with their friends regardless of platform. This is a beautiful thing I've been seeing on my MCC game nights at the minute. Some people are playing on console, most of them on console, but then occasionally some are on PC as well, and we're playing together, and there doesn't really seem to be any difficulty gap. Everybody seems to be having a good time. We have very good ultra wide and super ultra wide support. Triple keybinds. We're supporting a wide range of input devices, i.e., you can play the game on PC using a non Xbox controller or with a mouse and keyboard when you're playing on console. Advanced sensitivity and acceleration sliders for your mouth. <laughs> yep. And ex <laughs> for your mouth. And acceleration sliders for your mouse. Oh boy. There's dozens of people across the studio that have had to put dedicated effort into to supporting something like ultra wide and I'm very excited to say I think we'll have some of the best ultra wide support I've ever seen for a game we literally wanted to get people excited about the potential of that experience we got a bunch of ultra wide monitors and gave them to the team for their dev machines so they'd work and test them daily I mean have you just look at this thing I want to play Halo Infinite ultra wide. Like, I don't know. Can you buy an ultra wide monitor and hook it up to an Xbox? I'm not sure. I'm not the biggest tech guy. If you can notice, I'm sitting on a rock by the beach. I don't exactly know the ins and outs of this. I'm just trying to relay the hype that these guys are giving off. But this is where it's important for Xbox as well. They say also Infinite is supporting consoles with different performance profiles. So we have this confluence of design needed to support many different performance profiles over multiple generations of hardware. So basically, Basically, they're talking about a Cyberpunk 2077 vibe. We're gonna try and advertise that this is gonna work on Xbox One as well. To be honest with you guys, I would never try and play Halo Infinite on Xbox One. I just don't think it's a good idea. I'm definitely gonna buy a Series S as Halo Infinite comes out. Maybe even a, a, a Master Chief themed Series S 343. You're gonna announce that soon? I don't know. They also talk about having all these different custom settings that PC players can tweak. They say we want to expose all of that to the PC players to tweak for for their personal machines. It's a real beast to make these settings achieve the goals of the artists and content developers, performance engineers, and be exposed and intuitive to players. This is crazy, yeah? I mean, I know PC has so many more options for custom settings than Xbox does, so I'm really hyped to learn more about this. And then the blog sort of ends with just asking some of the developers what they're most excited about when firing up Halo Infinite. One says, a buttery smooth experience on mouse and keyboard, ultra wide 21.9, 32.9, and beyond support for everything. In-game narrative moments, menus, the works. Display settings, refresh rates, triple keybinds, and the ability to dynamically scale resolution to maintain frame rate and competitiveness. The ability to play with your friends regardless of what platform you are on. Steam, Xbox, Game Pass, PC, everyone can play together. Yes. 
Absolutely. They also say we actually allow you to host a local multiplayer server on your PC. All the players on your LAN, both PC and Xbox, are able to join your local server and play infinite multiplayer with you. We also have both ranked and unranked matchmaking playlists where PC and Xbox can play together. So epic, man. So epic. Social playlists and custom matches are open to all. You can play on any platform and any device with anyone you like. For ranked matches, we plan to restrict competitive playlists based upon input type, not console versus PC. Kind of makes sense because I've heard that PC response time is a lot quicker. We also want to ensure nobody feels like they're at a significant disadvantage because of the way they're playing. If we do our job right in combination with our true skill 2 ranking system, everyone should be able to trust they're getting a fair shake in the crossplay ecosystem. Oh man, I have so much promise for Halo Infinite. Honestly, uh, my 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 pro like my worries have slipped away. When the Halo Infinite campaign trailer came out, I was very happy, and now it's just getting better and better and better. I'm so excited. Look at these screenshots, man. These screenshots are gorgeous. Gorgeous. And as if that wasn't enough, in one of the ultra-wide screenshots with a brute jackal, you can see Victor the Grunt. Our boy Victor. You can see Victor running away from the camera. He doesn't have any weapons on his back, so maybe the brute took them off. But that ultra-wide display, man, it, the campaign just looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That's all for today, folks. Every time one of these infinite articles comes out, I'm just reminded how much these guys can't talk about the game. It must kill you to be developing this game for like five years and not be able to talk about it. So shout out once again to 343 devs. I think you're all doing a great job. 343 deserves far more praise at this point. I think they're going to earn back all the trust. There'll always be some, but most people I think will start to trust 343 again once Halo Infinite launches. This has been another Inside Infinite Scoop with the Domain. Please make sure to check out yesterday's video where I detailed the brand new Chopper. Chop a takedown for Mega Constructs. It has Echrium, Echrium, that big goatee, bearded, brutey boy. And it looks like an amazing set, so check out that video. As always, stay awesome out there, stay safe. The Domain is signing off.